Good afternoon, everybody. It's Stephen and Paul from WinExco bringing you your daily brief of Microsoft News for March the 16th, 2011. One day away from the Irish national holiday. I, the day where everybody becomes a little bit Irish, I think, yeah. St. Patrick's Day, you know. Yeah, whoop de doo We all go out and dye our hair green and get drunk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, Sing songs that nobody can comprehend and everybody's your best man. <laughs> like we need an excuse to do that. <laughs> well, that's tomorrow, you know. And, you know, just to show my loyalty to the show, I, despite the fact that we're having relatively decent sized Paddy's Day celebrations here at my house, um, I'll still be on the show. Oh, cool. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I can, I can sleep easier now. Yes. <laughs> Much easier than I guess the Zoom guys have been out. Well, hang on, all. before we get into this, wasn't yeah. there supposed to be some big announcement? Yeah, I was going. You know, I was going to say that. It's like, okay, what happened? I saw nothing in my feeds about it. Nothing in my streams about it. Nope, not a thing. I did a search on it this morning. Nothing. Big news for Microsoft. Nothing. Nothing that we don't have any show notes. Google News for Microsoft? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Twitter? Bugger all. Was there even an announcement yesterday? I, We've been talking about this for a week. I, I I kept my eye on Twitter, I kept my eye on, you know, the Google and the news and, and like there was nothing. I don't know. Guys, if you do know about it, let us know. We apparently missed what I apparently missed all of the shoot and pool. Or whatever yesterday, two five one two eight one eight seven three zero. A voice or text mail or email podcast at winextra dot com. Yeah, let us know. I can't see what we missed because it's not in streams. No. Anyway, um, we talked about this yesterday. The news breaking that uh, Zoom was dead. Long live the Zoom. Zoom is dead. Long live the Zoom. Yes. Yes. Well, apparently, I guess the. Um, Product product head manager um, had a post up over it. Well, not so much a post, but a uh, a comment of the anything but uh, but iPod forums. Um, Dave yeah, McClellan, and he's saying, "Look, I still go to work today. Still go to work tomorrow, and the day after. Don't take what you're reading in the press." Well, as she's going to work. Look, the Zoom hardware itself may be defunct, but the hardware guys behind it are still going to have jobs with Windows Phone 7. They're still going to have jobs with yeah, but it, he, whatever the, whatever the non-cellular devices that replace yeah, it. Yeah, like there's, there, there is that allu- uh, you know, um, suggestion that we are going to get some sort of hardware refresh on this. It might not be called Zoom. It, Look... The music player market market is still yep. lucrative. It doesn't matter how good smartphones are and how smartphones play MP3s and all this kind of crap. There's still going to be a market that is currently occupied by Apple with the iPod, by Creative with their Zen series, and so on and so forth. All right, and there's, there's loads of makers out there making them, and there's still going to be a market for another iPod Touch like device and Windows Phone 7 is the right device to bring in there. Of course this guy's going to work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Look, they, they made it very clear when they released the last Zoom that this was going to be the last hardware iteration of it. Yeah, but okay. then I, I, I heard rumors in the middle part of last year that we would see another version of the Zune HD. Yeah, and I heard rumors in the middle part of last year too that you were a transvestite, but I didn't pay any heed to it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I you're really do. It's you're so a like... on the weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I mean, we hear rumors about everything. We hear rumors that, you know, Steve Jobs pisses liquid gold. We hear rumors that Apple is doing this and Microsoft is doing that and Bill Gates is a Martian and Or that the Zune is dead. But it's the job of you and me to siphon out and say, Well look, this is what they actually said. 
This is the product that they have now. This is what makes the most sense going forward. And the most sense going forward is Zune or whatever it is rebranded as, as a component of Windows Phone 7 uh, on Xbox, on the, on the desktop, etc. And that any media device that would come out would be, you know, Phone 7 OS powered a la iPod Touch or something similar. That's what makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie. <laughs> um, Tom Warren had a post out this morning uh, going on that Microsoft is working closely with Samsung on the next generation of the Windows Phone handsets. Well, isn't it fair enough to say that Microsoft is working closely with all devices. Well, uh, apparently, they, from what I'm reading here, they are, are specifically tar are going to be working with Samsung directly. They're actually going to be having a, a dedicated uh, employee manager acting as a liaison, whatever, with. Well, you know what? I'm not surprised. Maybe this will avoid the same kerfuffle we've had with uh, Samsung phone yeah. update in terms of the updates going out. Wait. <sighs> And they do make the nicest phones out there right now for Windows Phone well, 7. They do if you can get them updated. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just surprised. Why would we have an announcement that, you know, Microsoft is working closely with Samsung? Well, this Shouldn't Microsoft have a team for all of its hardware manufacturers? I don't know. Th he got this that through a job. That makes sense. Virgin product. You yeah, know what I mean. He got this basically through a, um, a job listing on the Microsoft site. Oh, so uh, th that's the thing. These, these things are already in place. Dude. They have to be. Yeah. They have to be working with their hardware partners prior to launch. They have to have teams working with their hardware partners prior to launch. Yeah. And those teams are still in place. I had. Yeah. Um. I can't get excited about something that just is damn obvious. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get excited about this. Microsoft and RIM are expected to unveil a new free hosted BlackBerry service. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft already offers a $10 business service for Exchange um, for RIM users. Uh, but basically, this is going to be free, and from what we can tell, it's going to be rolled into Office 365. We're going to see possibly between now and the launch of 365 prop when it comes out of beta, some sort of server implementation at the local level before it's fully rolled in. Expected announcement is um, tomorrow by RIM. Maybe, yet, maybe it was yesterday and we missed it. No. Um, <laughs> the original Mary Jo Foley story was that uh, it could launch as soon as the 16th. But she updated the story to say that RIM is holding a BlackBerry for Business webcast on the 17th with detail and new additional cloud services for BlackBerry. So that could be very. Yeah. That could be. Uh, one thing, though, is we have seen BlackBerry getting hot water in a lot of. Com in a lot of con countries, because they wanted access to yeah the me yeah to the email. Now, this what will it mean if RIM users are now getting that through Microsoft? Yeah. Hmm. Um, and of course, here's the other thing. Right now, RIM, the low end Blackberries, are the phones of choice for most teenagers. Yeah, that's an interesting switch around, isn't it? Um. A very interesting move from Google. Uh, they've expanded their AdMob uh, SDK or you know software development kit uh, to work with Microsoft Windows Phone Seven. It's not interesting. It's Google. Well, yeah, I know, but it's, it's you know, it's here's another platform we can sell ads on. Yeah. It's like they they just released a, a what is it? What's their their video format? WebM. Plug in yeah. for Internet Explorer 9. We started a bit WebM. Right. Anyway, <laughs> well, with regards to the Google stuff, this is good news for developers. Yes. Okay? 
Because now you can develop on Windows Phone 7 and you can choose to run Google Ads in there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can monetize your work, which is obviously yet another draw to the Phone 7 platform. But well, obviously boring as hell to the average consumer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Microsoft is launching what they, they're calling the Kodu Cup 2011 competition for kids. Yeah, this is really cool. This is um, a competition for students between the ages of 9 and 17, okay, um, to get together and actually develop games that will run on a PC, will run on the Xbox, and uh, the software to do it is a free download. You can find the link on, on the link story. And it's basically, it's, it's, um, it's a very low level. It's a very... Basic. I was going to say it's a... Hot, I was going to say it's a low-level programming language, but the funny thing is, with programming, the lower the level the language, the more complex it yeah. is. High-level programming language that actually involves mainly just the use of icons and stuff to, to pull things together. But the participants are going to be divided into two age groups, the 9 to 12-year-olds and the 13 to 17-year-olds. Um, they have until May 10th to submit their games and their stuff. And there's some nice prizes up, up for grabs. Uh, there's a couple of, you know, you can imagine a nine-year-old walking away with a $5,000 cash prize, trips to New York to the Imagine Cup, um, goes on and on, transportation, three nights, occupancy at the Marriott, $250 cash, Xboxes, Connects, Xbox Lives, laptops, the list of prizes goes on and on, and you know what? It's another reaffirmment of developers. Developers, developers. Especially you get them. Guess the case they're getting them when they're young. Yeah. And you know, well, wouldn't it be cool? Imagine if we were like, you know, back in the day, oh. nine and ten years of age. If you could have, you know, without having to program in yeah. basic or you, you know assembly code on the Commodore sixty four or whatnot, and be able to knock out stuff that you could easily show off to your mates and spread yeah. around the web. That would be. Now, I, I'm sure this next story is going to be right up your alley. Uh, they've launched the new Halo Reach Defiant map pack. Halo Reach Defiant map pack, yeah. 800 Microsoft points, three new maps, Condemned, Highlands, and Unearthed. It's available right now. Also, for those of you who don't yet have Halo Reach, you don't have to run out to the store and buy it. That's now available from Games on Demand on Xbox and set you back about 50 bucks. Yeah. So. Okay, you had this marked in the show notes as a rant. Oh, dude, seriously? So you go for it, buddy. Yep. Started here. Right. The you time know, the, the, I-9 came out, right? Yeah. And I obviously have my own reservations about the browser. I've expressed some of them here about things that I don't like in IE9. And no browser is perfect. There's things about Firefox 4 that I like over Chrome and I like over IE9. Chrome Chrome is my de facto default browser. There's things about that I like over other ones. There's things about IE9 I like that the other two don't do. But Computer World ran a roundup of what bloggers were saying about it. And Two of the bloggers that they quoted really got my bloody back up. Not everything that they said, just distinct paragraphs. And I'm going to bring it in here because remember, folks, this is 2012. Okay? Yeah. 2012. No, 2011. Even I mean, better. Yeah. I'm, I'm living in the future. <laughs> this is 2011. It doesn't make my point any less salient. Um, Stephen J. Vaughan Nichols is quoted as saying, with regards to IE9, XP users, you're out of luck. Even if Microsoft wants to ignore Mac OS X and Linux, why not at least a version for XP? The answer is, of course, that Microsoft wants to sell you Windows 7. How about the answer is, of course, that XP is a 10-year-old bloody operating system? Yeah. That is no longer supported? that is out of date and that you're a complete moron if you're running it from a security perspective? <laughs> and you expect Microsoft to release IE9 with hardware acceleration that, re that relies on features that weren't introduced until later operating systems? Yep. To just run on, <laughs> on XP? Are you a twat? Yes, he is. And then you get Peter Judges, 
And this, this dude, I, I, you know what? If I had a tinfoil hat, I'd be taking it off and handing it to this guy for retarded conspiracy theory of the year. Okay, i9 won't run on PCs that only have Windows XP. Microsoft says that this is to give the best experience, but it's also part of its ongoing and anti-environmental campaign to kill off a product which many people feel is still good enough. Was this guy, you know, I go on, reusing old desktop kit is something any organization should consider, especially now people are storing and processing much less on their office PC or laptop using the cloud and desktop virtualization. This guy was obviously breastfed rat poison until he was 15. Because somebody's damaged his brain. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously. Again, with the XP argument, 10 year old operating system, not supported anymore, security. Of course, Microsoft want, doesn't want you on it. Oh, yes, let's reuse old hardware. Why the hell isn't the Halo Reach Defiant Map Pack going to run on my original Xbox? Because it's out of date, it's old, we moved on from 10 years ago. You want to live in 10 years ago? Fine. I'm sure you can go find a bunker and do it somewhere with a lot of other people who wish to grow up inbred and with 11 toes. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you what, folks, if, if, if you're of, you know, Paul's frame of mind, why don't you let us know what you thought of the story. Um, I love being hacked, I do. <laughs> yeah. That's why I run XP every day. Yeah. Um, drop us an email at uh, podcast at winextra.com or, or leave us a comment on this post or on YouTube front slash winextra. Or you can drop us voicemail at uh, 251 281 8730. And that, folks, is today's show. I promise if you call the number, I won't give it to you. Yes. That's Paul. I'm Steve. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good one.